Hi, welcome to UHS. My name is Heather Vance and I'm one of the family medicine doctors here at UHS. I'm here today to show you what to expect during your test for COVID-19. What I'm going to show you today is a test called the deep nasal swab, otherwise known as the mid turbinate swab, which is actually a test that you can perform on yourself. I'm going to walk you through what to do in hopes that I can relieve some fears and make your actual test run smoother. Remember, for our test to be accurate, we need a good sample, so it's important that you follow these instructions. Let's get started. First, take a seat and try to relax. After confirming your name and date of birth, you can place your ID label onto your specimen tube. Sanitize your hands with the sanitizer we have provided. Remove the swab from the package, being careful not to touch the end of the swab. Open the specimen tube, holding onto it with one hand and holding the swab in the other hand. Remove your mask so that only your nose is exposed, but your mouth is still covered by your mask. Tilt your head back about 15 to 30 degrees. Insert the swab into one nostril parallel to the roof of your mouth until you hit resistance and cannot go any further. This is typically about three to four centimeters or 1.5 inches. You're gonna rotate the swab in a circular motion towards the nasal wall several times, let's say four or five, or for approximately 15 seconds before removing the swab and repeating the same process in your other nostril. After you're done, insert the swab into the specimen tube until the tip reaches the bottom. The tip of the swab should be in the liquid. Break the swab handle against the side of the tube against the perforated break point screw the cap on tightly and place the tube into the bag. Throw away your remaining collection items. Replace your mask to cover both your nose and your mouth and sanitize your hands. You are all done. Sometimes performing the swab can make your eyes water or can make you want to sneeze. It can be uncomfortable, but it should not hurt. Based on your symptoms and exposure history, you may be asked to do this type of nasal swab. However, you may also be asked to do a different type of nasal swab, which will be performed by a healthcare provider. This swab is very similar, but just a bit deeper into the nose. Thank you for watching and working to keep our campus and community a safer place.